What is up everyone? Welcome back. Today we're looking at multiplying a three digit by a one digit number and we're going to be using the short method without regrouping. Let's start. Okay, we're going to look at these two questions. I've got a green and a red chili challenge, one slightly harder than the other. But before we can do that, let's have a look at our steps of success and the things that we need to follow in order to get the right answer. First step is going to create our place value columns and make sure we put our labels on the top. That's going to become very important. Make sure we don't put the things in the wrong place. Then we're going to start with our smallest value. I'll explain more about that in a minute. And then we're going to multiply our numbers one by one, working our way up the place value chart. So how are we going to lay out our question? Well, we talked about setting up our place value chart and putting our labels. So we're going to use a one, a 10, and 100 for this question because we have a 1, 10, and 100 in 433. Now I'm ready to put my numbers in place. I'm gonna have 433 on the top and my two on the bottom row, but in the correct column, which in this case is a one. Put my equals line and I'm ready to begin. Let's just tidy that up. Here we go. So where to begin? Well, I'm gonna look at my smallest value and I'm gonna look at this second row. So I'm looking at this two. And what I want to do is multiply it by the smallest value in the top number, which in this case would be the three, and then work my way up, multiply it by the other three, and then finally multiply it by the four. So let's do that in order then. So two multiplied by three leaves me with six, six ones. So I put my six in the answer row in the ones column. Now I'm multiplying two by three. But it's not a three, it's 30, because it's in the tens column. So my answer needs to go in the tens column too. So two times three is six, but it's not a three, it's a 30. So two times 30 is 60, and I can represent that by putting a six in the tens column. And finally, two times four, but remember it's a 400. So two times four is eight, or 800, represented with an eight in the hundreds column. Simple. So my answer to 433 times two is 866. I had to give myself a nice big tick. Let's look at a slightly harder one. Let's have a look at 213 times three. So I'm gonna do the same thing, put my ones, tens, and hundreds. Now I can put the numbers in the right place, 213 times three. Put my equal line, and I'm ready to begin. Again, let's tidy it up, there we go, and I'm ready to start. Where do I start? I start with my smallest value, and I'm gonna use the bottom line. So three multiplied by the smallest value on the top row, which is this other three. Three times three is nine. Put that inside the ones column. Now I'm multiplying three times one, but remember it's actually a 10. So three times one is three, and by putting it in the tens column, it makes it that 30. Now lastly, I can do three times two, and three times two is six, but remember it's actually three times 200, and I can get the answer 600 by putting my six in the hundreds column. So my answer to 313 times three is 639. Give myself a tick. Awesome, so what are our things that we need to remember when working out these questions? Always put your ones, tens, and hundreds at the top of your place value chart. That will avoid making any mistakes, and it will also tell you where to start, because remember, we always start at our smallest value. That leads me to my next thing to remember, start at the smallest value. So we start by multiplying our two smallest values, and then we work our way up. And then finally, bridge that number if we need to, but in this case, we didn't because we were not regrouping. That's gonna be on our next video. Okay, so at this point, I've got three questions for you here on the screen. I'd like you to press pause on the video, have a go at answering these three questions, and then when you've done, put the answers in the comments section, and I'm gonna mark every one. And there we have it, guys. That is how to multiply a three-digit by a one-digit number without regrouping. Hope that wasn't too difficult. See you in the next video, guys, where we're gonna to start to look at regrouping. Peace out.